and welcome back. It's me, Shwee! Hello and welcome to the wrapping of my coffee mug collection! Cause it's in the way and I have a lot in here is the collection. Yeah, it's a lot. I blame mom because she also has a huge coffee mug collection, so that's kind of where I developed the habit because I think coffee mugs are cool and we both drink a crap ton of coffee. So anyways, I have to put them all away because I don't have a spot for them outside of this table, but I need this table for other things, therefore, coffee mugs gotta go. I got myself a cardboard boxes and some paper wrapping, and I also got Callie her own box because she decided to steal the first box that I had set up. I know much cuteness. I'll let her have it this time. But anyways, let's get started. I'll tell you a little bit of history behind these mugs if I can remember any of them. Though I will admit, most of these I found in thrift stores for like 49 cents a pop because I was like, oh my god, coffee mug. Cool, I totally need this in my life even though I don't have space for it. So the first two I'm showing off are actually coffee mug gifts that I got from Uni I think about a year ago, maybe almost two years ago. He got these made for us before my avatar I actually started showing the curl and, I, and I'm trying to do this this way because I have to look down here because I don't have one of the fancy cameras that has the reverse thingy yet. But anyways, yeah, so this is what my avatar used to look like and he got it made and he put a little thingy on the back and this one's Phoenix's. Um, this was the avatar that he had again well before the one that I made for him and he's just, oh, thank you Uni, yes, I still have them. And I'm going to put them in the box first, but I have to wrap them first, so let's get to the wrapping part, shall we? Next up is my little mermaid cup. For those of you that might not actually know, I mean, it's kind of a, an obvious guess. Little Mermaid was my favorite Disney movie growing up. Why? Because she was the only redhead Disney movie at the time in the early 90s growing up, so I was like, I want to be a mermaid too. Dude. Granted, looking back at that movie now, she was 16. Pretty sure Eric was much older. Eh, but whatever. I still think this is an amazing cup. I actually got this at a Disney store in the mall here in New York. I don't even remember how many years ago. But I'm still amazed at the amount of color that is still on this because this thing has been washed a lot and used a lot. And I'm just really glad that it has survived for so long. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there's actually the little logo of it right there. My other Disney coffee mug is the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, another one of my favorite Disney movies. And I really, really liked the newest versions that they did with Johnny Depp. Oh my god, this was amazing. And the Cheshire Cat there was so cute. I love his forever smile, just so fancy. Just so cute. Actually, I, I did not get this at a Disney mall, Disney store mall thing, whatever. I think I got this at a Spencer's? No, I didn't get it. One of my sisters got it for me. It's like a Christmas gift. I, I just remember that they found it there, but I remember seeing it there. Whatever. What was your favorite Disney movie growing up? Do you have mugs or collection paraphernalia of it? Hmm? Do share. Since I'm wrapping coffee mugs anyway, let's talk about coffee. What's your favorite kind of coffee? Poisonly, there's this German roast that I get over at our local Aldi's. Oh, it is so good. It's like a medium, I think they consider it a medium roast, which I'm all for any kind of roast. I really like dark roast. The extra dark roast is really good too. But this German roast, oh my god, oh my god, it is really good. A little bit of creme, a little bit of sugar. The only times I ever have coffee without sugar is if it is a flavored cream like hazelnut, which is my favorite to add to any coffee. This is really good. Also, if you like experimenting with coffees, if you have an Aldi's, they most likely will have some imported coffees there. I tried some from, I don't even remember where, they were really good. It was some kind of Taiwan thing and I think a Kenya coffee. I remember that one. It was different. Not bad. The flavor wasn't quite what I was expecting, but it was still really good. And our Jack Skellington mugs. I honestly can't quite remember where I got this particular one. I want to say Probably a hot topic, if not Spencer's. Can you tell what my favorite Halloween movie is? Yeah, technically, would it count more as a Christmas movie because the whole thing is based around Christmas-ish? I suppose you could watch it whenever you want, really. Phoenix and I tend to watch it right around the Christmas holidays, now that I think about it. 
<laughs> now that I think about it, I don't have a Sally mug. I don't think I've ever seen a Sally mug. If anybody knows how I can get a hold of a Sally mug, or even just like a link for it, drop it in my Twitter feed, Discord, something, because I need one to complete it. Jack is alone. Come on. However, moving on to this one. This one actually glows in the dark. I cannot remember where we got this one from either. It wouldn't happen to say. No, but oh. It. Oh, I didn't know it's a Tim Burton's a Disney thing? Shut up! I thought it was strictly a Tim Burton thing. I didn't realize that Jack Skellington, or Nightmare Before Christmas rather, was part of the Disney collection. How long? For those of you that keep informed and up to date with what Disney buys and purchases, please let me know. When did that happen? Give me years and specific dates. <laughs> I'm very curious because I don't pay attention to stuff like that. I thought Tim Burton just did his own thing. But that's kind of cool. I mean, I suppose that would make sense. Maybe I did buy this at that Disney Mall store. I don't, I don't remember. That's fine though. Oh, wait, I forgot. I did have one more. I had a Mad as a Hatter coffee mug. See, this is what I mean. I have so many coffee mugs, I've forgotten about which ones that I have. <laughs> But this, I had to have gotten at that store, or someone got it for me because, again, I have a weird love relationship with the Alice in Wonderland theme and stuff, and I can't believe I forgot I had this one. That works out cool, though. All right. So what's your opinion on cappuccinos? I personally really enjoy a good cappuccino. Depending on the flavor, if it's French vanilla specifically, put a little bit of caramel in there, so yummy deliciousness, but don't do too much otherwise you will just over sugar yourself for the day and you'll just be bouncing off the walls, which I already have that problem as is. Ooh, now that I think about it, if you add a little bit of mocha to the cappuccino as well, that's really good too. Since I saw the Hershey's coffee mug that I have, this one I know for a fact I found at a thrift store earlier this year actually. Um, I saw this and I was like, Oh my god, this is perfect! It can go with the Oreo bowls that my dad has. Yes, my dad has four almost brand new looking Oreo bowls. I have no idea when or where he found these or if it was like a special thing. I don't know, but they're really cool and they're really perfect. They are the right size and shape to carry ice cream. Actually, now I think about it. Do you like coffee ice cream? I love coffee ice cream. There was this kind that I got where it actually had bits of coffee bean in it. I cannot find it. I haven't seen it in years. I don't even remember what brand it was, but it was so good. And I cry knowing that I can't have it because I can't find it. I'm much upset now. Speaking of Disney owning things, here's one of our very favorite Marvel coffee mugs. It showcases the Iron Man, the Daredevil, the Thor, the Captain America, the Spider-Man, and the Hulk. One of our favorites. I actually really like taller coffee mugs that are a bit wider because they can hold more coffee, obviously. But also generally when they put art on it, they can do a whole lot more with it. And I love like this almost Campbell soup style that they went with. If you know what I mean by that, you're an awesome artsy fartsy person. Just let me know. Because I can't remember the guy's name, but I know he had yellow poofy hair. And he was an artist way back when that did things and stuff. Yeah, so there you go. How did you guys like the last two Avengers movies? I'm not spoiling anything. I'm merely just asking a question. I loved it. I laughed. I got mad. And I cried like a big baby. But really like how they tied it off in the end. Just my personal opinion on that. Hulk smash, baby. I saw this at our local Walmart and was like, <laughs> yes. Because once the final Avengers movie was out, they started re-releasing all of the things and stuff. Oh, and then when Deadpool 2 came out, they made the special covers, which I bought none of them. As cool as they are, I'm like, I already own at least 78% of these movies. Why do I need to rebuy them just because of a cool cover? If I want the cover, I could just go online and print it if I really want it that badly. Anyways, the first time that uh, Phoenix and I watched I forget which Hulk movie it was. It wasn't the one that's part of the Avengers series. This was, oh my god, I think we were still in college at the time. So 2010, whatever that Hulk movie was. In the thing where they did the loud sounds and stuff. And there was the other evil Hulk thing. And I can't remember what the heck that was all about. But whatever. Him, myself, and his moms. We went to go see it in theaters. For the auditory... For... 
for people who can't hear that well, I, there was words and sentence there that just didn't work out. Basically, if you're hearing impaired, that's what I wanted to say. Oh my god, was that so loud! We ran out of the movie theaters like... I can hear a color! It was so loud, okay? It was absolutely ridiculous. Really good movie. Does not tie into any of the Avengers stuff, but still really good either way. <laughs> now this is one of my favorite Deadpool mugs. Actually, is this my only Deadpool mug? I feel like I had another one at one point. Maybe I did and I just can't. Again, I have so many coffee mugs floating around. I'm, I'm sure it's somewhere. I'll come across it and I'll share it then. But anyways, I got this one on a special sale at my local GameStop. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see all this, but I'm assuming, is that Godzilla? I don't know, giant lizard thing with, and it's coughing up or eating, I can't quite tell, it's cats, cats and dogs. And Deadpool and sparkly pink letters, and then Deadpool <laughs> riding a unicorn saying, best mug ever. Yes, queen, it is. That's why I got it. Because <laughs> who doesn't love Deadpool? My god, the guy is absolutely crazy. Moving on to the next one. Now, I don't really know if these count as coffee mugs, because they look more tea-like, like, like teacup-ish. Like, they're, you know, with coffee mugs, they're a bit thicker. These are a lot thinner, but I still think they're cool. I bought them for the intended purpose of using them as coffee mugs and have since I got them which I know I got both of these at a thrift store. I think I was still in college. So what, 2009 at the time? I think, I don't know, 10 plus years ago, I don't freaking care. But anyways, these are really cool because they are covered in just green clovers and it's called, oh no, it says Irish coffee right there. So I guess this is essentially a coffee mug. It's still too thin though. It's not like your typical coffee mug. Look, do you see, look, hang on. Do you see how thin that is? Can you, see? now look at this coffee mug. You see what I mean? There's a thickness difference there. That's why I thought this was a teacup. I just can't read. And I also haven't seen this particular mug in however many years, cause it's just been hidden in a box elsewhere. And the reason I'm moving it to every box is that box broke. Just in case you were wondering. I don't know why I'm yelling at you. I'm not mad. I'm just stating a point. Anyway, so. The reason I got this was because of the thingy that there's a quote that's on it. Shut up. Anyways. It says, May the saddest days of your future be no worse than the happiest days of your past. Aw, how sweet. And the other one actually says something a little different. It still says Irish coffee, which I don't know if I showed you guys that. <gasps> Isn't that just so fancy fabulous? I also love this font because it reminds me a lot of the font in, uh, Sword in the Stone, the original Disney movie, when they first started it out, because it was in a book form and whatever. You know, like, they, like what they did with Shrek. Anyways, so, this one is my absolute favorite. May you be in heaven a half hour before the devil knows you're dead. Hmm. Take that however you want. But I always thought it was kind of funny. Anyways, before I do the next coffee mug of the wrapping and the putting away of stuff, do you want to know what the most expensive coffee is in the entire world? I saw this on some documentary thing that my mom was watching, or maybe it was just on, but I was like, oh, it's coffee, I'm interested, whatever. It's, I'm probably going to butcher the name for it, I don't care. It's called Kopi Luak, or Kopi Luak, Luak, whatever. It is a coffee bean that's eaten by a, a civet cat or kid with some kind of wild Indonesian cat thing. It is digested, pooped out, they go and find the feces with the coffee bean in it, and then they brew that shit. Literally, they brew it. And people that don't know what the hell it is buy this stuff, it's so expensive. And then they say, oh, it has such an earthy taste. Yeah, no, duh, you're drinking coffee shit. Shit coffee, literally. Ew, why is it that the most expensive stuff in the world <laughs> is shit? Like, why, why, why? If that's the case, look, I'm gonna make my own version of coffee. It's gonna be called Shreve Shit. And I'm gonna put like fancy little chicks over them and whatever, and people will just have it. It's, I'm not lying, it's just shit. Coffee, there you go. I'm selling it a thousand per 
granule. I don't freaking care. This one goes out to Phoenix. It is a Miami Dolphins coffee mug. The only reason that he's even considered really a fan, from what I understand, I'll have him correct me later if it's not the case, because he's not a football fan. Neither am I. We don't really do sports. We're just, that's just how we are. But he originally was born in Florida. And football was kind of a big thing with, uh, for his mom and his brother. So he was just like, ah, you know what? I'm going to pick the one from the state that I was born in. So, again, I'll have him correct me if that's not the case. And this is the other one that he has, though. I don't know if you really consider this a coffee mug. It's more like a freaking pint for beer of sorts. Like, it's maybe not pint. Maybe it's more a quart, but whatever. It's still got that fancy little dolphin logo. Oh, my God. It's actually in really good condition considering how old this thing is. Because, uh, like, I, he's had this for as long as he and I have been together. And I think he's had it longer still. Oh, actually, now, I, now that I see some of the color is missing. There's a bit of orange missing right there. There's some blue, I can't see where I'm pointing. A little bit of blue missing from the fin, and there was one more spot, I just saw it. A little bit of white missing right there, but all things considered, that's not really that bad of condition because that can easily be fixed. Still really cool though. Oh my God, look at that, we got the first layer done. So that's it for the first part of my coffee mug wrapping. How are you guys enjoying it so far? Are you impressed with the collection? Just wait, I have one more part that's coming. And sad thing is that's not even the entire collection. I'm still missing coffee mugs that I know are hidden in this room somewhere, probably somewhere else in the house, but hopefully I'll get to those at some point. Until then, my people, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys loved it, can't wait to see part two. Don't forget to hit that like button. Consider subsubscribing and joining Shubi's party list today. Let's hear them. Coffee Mug Collection, crazy collector, lady, girl, person, battle cries. That was a little stretched out, but you know what I mean. Woo! Yeah! I'll see you guys in the next episode.